Hey you guys here with another Android video. In this video I want to share with you guys a very cool app called Avia Media Player. Uh, the reason that I'm showing that is not because it's new, it's because it has been updated with the Chromecast feature. Um, also, these apps right here, um, starting yesterday, a lot of apps have been updated with Chromecast, which is a very good sign of a lot of apps being updated very, very soon. Um, these apps, Plex, Vivo, which is an awesome music video player, totally makes makes sense having Chromecast there. Uh, Real Player Cloud, Viki TV, that's like a international worldwide TV you can see from different countries like Korea, Philippines, Venezuela, all that. Um, Post TV, that's like a news um, uh, from app from Washington Post. Uh, you got Beyond Pod as a podcast app, and of course you got Avia or Avia. Uh, this app is totally free. When you download it, it's totally free and you can manage all your music from here. You can see all your videos from here and all that. You can play your music right here if you want. For example, these are my, my homemade videos with your camera uh, of the phone. You could do that. And it's totally free for that. But if you want to have the Chromecast feature, you actually have to pay $2.99 in an it in-app purchase you're gonna have this feature right here it's, it's gonna say unlock extra so once you tap it and you unlock it pay the 299 you're gonna have now if your house has a chromecast in it uh, you will see the chromecast logo right there and uh, one thing if you tap right here another thing you're gonna see is um, DLNA receivers as well because this app is also uh, compatible with DLNA receivers. So if you, for example, in my case, I only can see my hopper with Sling, living room one, DLNA receiver, and over here I can see my MTG Cast, Chromecast. And if you, for example, if you had a, had a PlayStation 3 on, it will also show you the PlayStation 3 there as well. So that's very, very cool. Um, of course, you can see your photos, everything, everything here in it, in, and all that goodness right here and the great thing here is that you can also add media from dropbox as well you could add media from dropbox picasa facebook and one great thing it has here from plex media server uh, this is great because the reason i'm not showing the plex media server plex media app with chromecast is because you to use chromecast on the Plex Media app, you actually have to be a Plex Pass member, which is $3.99 a month for you to use the Chromecast feature. So, but you can actually go around. If you have Plex in your home, if you use Plex as your media server, you can actually add it right here and you can sync everything, your music, videos, and photos, and voila, now you're gonna have access to all your Plex media servers in your home. Same thing goes with Avia. I think they also have a media server for your TV, for your computer as well, but that's very cool. You can, and it actually works very, very good. So now let's go ahead to the TV, so show you guys how it works. Okay guys, so here we are on the TV that has a Chromecast right now. Uh, right here, I could go ahead, click right there, the log Chromecast logo, select my Chromecast, and we should see the Avia or Avia logo on the TV and ready to cast. Uh, from here, the app, you could go ahead and select videos, music, um, photos, whatever you want. If I choose uh, me, uh, music, uh, right now I don't keep music in my phone. It's in, all in the cloud. But I can see some ringtones right there. And like you can see, it's going to automatically play the ringtones that I have on my phone. Um, also here, if I go to photos, I go ahead, click all. I can also go by folder as well. If I click here, albums, I go by album as well. I could, for example, go ahead and see all my wallpapers on the TV. Like you see right there, click all my wallpapers. I can also go back and play, go to photos, select all. And select any photos from my gallery, which is very cool to have this feature available on your phone um, and being able to um, cast all your photos and videos on your TV, which is very cool. Uh, you can either tap on the photos or you can go ahead and click next right here and it will automatically right here. If I click next, it will automatically go to the next uh, photo, which is very, very cool. 
Uh, here you can also let's go ahead here and select photo videos right here I could go ahead and select videos I could go ahead and select um, any video that I have here uh, keep in mind I noticed that the 7 um, um, 720p videos play a lot better than 1080p videos uh, let's go ahead and click here for example um, it's gonna give you this thing right here it's gonna say um, this is a high bit high bitrate file and it may play not play smoothly over the wireless so let's go ahead and play or anyways um, just let it buffer it's gonna take a little bit time to buffer right there like you see is a buffering right there um, this is a 1080p video recorded from my from this phone right here and like you see it actually plays very good but sometimes it's gonna skip like after a couple seconds right there like you see it skip right there uh, but you could go ahead and pause it and let it buffer completely like you see right there let it completely buffer and then it'll play a little bit better uh, but of course I could go ahead and um, search for um, more folders over here external uh, DC here Uh, let's play um, this video right here. Uh, this is recorded at 720p from my phone, and it works very good. And it, the quality actually uh, transfers very good to the TV as well. Okay, good. Like you see right there, not bad. What's going on, bro? <laughs> very cool. Um, and the other thing is that you can actually, um, if you get out of the right. app, you can still see the video on the TV. And like you see right here, you can see the video right there in your notifications right there. You click right there and go back to the video on the TV, which is a very cool feature as well. Uh, another thing here, you can also, like I said before, you can also add media. And add media, checkbox right there, and checkbox over here, the Plex Media Server. And once you choose that, you're going to have access to all your videos that are in the Plex Media Server, which is a very good thing because right here in the Plex, Media, Plex app, if you try to use a Chromecast, click right here, Chromecast, look at the message that you get. Sorry, a Plex Pass is required for this feature. Now, that sucks because uh, Plex Pass is $3.99 a month. And, uh, and that should be a feature that should be embedded already for free on the app, if you ask me. So for me, that sucks. And it's kind of cool that with Plex Media, with Avia, you can actually access your Plex Media on your network, which is very, very good. And of course, you can use Picasa and Dropbox. Works perfectly as well. Of course, uh, the experience is going to vary depending on your network as well so the better the network better wi-fi the better you're gonna have access to your videos and like you see once you add plex media and all that services the video list is gonna be a lot lot longer because it's it's taking videos from dropbox plex and my phone so guys that's it that was a look at the avia media player with chromecast update and like I said, the Chromecast um, unlock feature would be $2.99 if you want the Chromecast feature on your phone. If you don't care about the Chromecast feature, it's totally free. So thanks for watching. Till next time.